Hello, my little crafty monsters. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous. So, in today's fabulous tutorial, we are going to be making my pen pal a um, clipboard happy mail. So, this is the little clipboard that we made. Hold on, let me turn down this party that we got going on right here, Bobo. -bo. So, um, this is the little clipboard that we're making today. This is a little charm out of paper clips that I've made in the past. You guys have seen a tutorial on this, but if you have not seen it, I will go ahead and throw the link down there and there's going to be a link right here. And you can go ahead and click that after you finish watching this video. So finish watching this one first and then click the other one. But there is another video on how to, sh how to make these little bad boys super easy if you haven't already seen one. Um, so anyway, I went ahead and I put a really Really big ring around this little hoe and then I put the little charm on there like very very cute verdad? very very cute mijo and, mica. I know, I know. and then we went ahead and we attached this little clip I'm gonna show you in the video how we did that but just to show you what is in this little clip let me show you so we went ahead and we made some cute little bows oh. how cute is that right and then I made some little flowers. Oh. These are some flowers. You guys cannot tell how sparkling and how glittery these little centers are, but they are. Anyway, so then you guys have seen me make these ones before. I made some of these little bad boys and you've seen me make some of these and I just made some of these out of the paper that I used and that's what we added on the clipboard. What else did I add on the clipboard? I also made this little pin holder oh. out of a binder clip. So this is removable. And some cute little elastic. The elastic I purchased at um, Joann's and then I just, um, I just hot glued it with, and some E6000. So hot glue and E6000. And then, um, this is stretchable and you could go ahead and put your pin on there. And what else did I add on this? Well, this is the clipboard. So these are the little flowers with that same center. And then these are some little paper flowers. And then I did a little, like little vines of like bling and pearls. And then I added a little cute, cute little birdcage. And then my key because of course you know I add keys to everything that's why there's keys on this little on this little charm if you guys didn't notice and then in the back we went ahead and we added all this little bad boy right here a little doily some little sentiment words a little rose and then a little cluster of flowers so I'm gonna show you guys how to make this little bad boy because we are making this for my pen pal so let's go ahead and get down and dirty my little crafty monsters and I will see you in a bit alrighty then my little crafty monsters let's get down and dirty and make this little bad boy right here so we are going to be using this paper pack. This is the same paper pack we used in a previous tutorial. And this chipboard. This chipboard, I purchased this on eBay. Just go ahead and look up chipboard on eBay and you'll find a bunch of places that sell it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick a DSP paper. And the good thing about this is that it's double-sided. So I'll be able to use one side for the front and one side for the back. So I'm going to bring out this heavy duty paper trimmer because we are going to be cutting chipboard and we're going to go ahead and cut this chipboard to five and a half. So our clipboard is basically going to be um, eight and a half by five and a half. Wait, yes, yes, <laughs> I had to make sure. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and glue the two pieces together just to make this clipboard a little bit more sturdier and a lot thicker and I will be using these little clips to hold these little bad boys together so that it gives it a chance to dry. While this little bad boy is drying, we are um, going to go ahead and cut the mats that are going to go in front of this little clipboard. 
And I was trying to decide which way I want the stripes to go. So I want the stripes to go up and down. So I'm going to cut it this way. And um, I just went ahead and I cut it right to the measurement of the clipboard, which is five and a half by eight and a half. So go ahead and cut your mat to five and a half by eight and a half. And um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So then after this is dry, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just glue our little mat in the front. Now you could use a wooden one and you could most likely paint it. There has been other videos of people painting them, but there is a lot of videos of people just using chipboard and covering it with their choice of DSP paper. So that's basically what we are doing here. I'm going to go ahead and just run that roller so that it smooths it out and now we're going to go ahead and add the second panel now this second panel i'm going to go ahead and add the stripes so we're just going to do like a little something different i think that's what we did is that what we did i'm not really 100 percent sure <laughs> i guess we're going to find out right now my little crafty monsters right so um, I'm just going to go ahead and roll this and varnish it so that it is nice and smooth. And then I was going to try to do the corners, but uh, that corner chomper, this is way too thick for that. So I said, forget it. We're going to go ahead and just um, do the little hole for the actual, for that little clip to go. So I am going to add a little brad. now. If you do add a brad, make sure that the prongs are pretty long so that it has a little bit more support. But in this case, what I did was I did add the brad and I also am going to be adding some um, adhesive to it. And we will be using this really strong, strong glue fix-all from the Dollar Tree. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and ink the edges and we're inking them with, uh, I think it's worn lipstick. So it's worn dipstick and we're just going to go ahead and do that to both sides, the front and the back. And I just want this to be kind of like a little, you know, give it a little something. So I'm going to go all around the clipboard. This is optional. You guys don't have to go all the way around. Now just know that I'm not going to really decorate this clipboard completely crazy. Um, I'm assuming that the way I decorated it, it's most likely not going to be a practical clipboard it's not going to be able to be used for a clipboard it's more decoration so <laughs> you know you could just decorate as much as you want or as little as you want right here I did add the brad and I did also use that glue and that glue is called fixo I will have um, the picture right here to your left right here you will see the picture of the glue and that's purchased at the Dollar Tree now these are some little wooden um little keys that were gifted to me from a really good friend of mine candy and also i i purchased these little um bird cages now those little flowers i um i was also gifted those from a really good friend of mine jessica and um and then we're just taking everything out basically because the way I like to work is I like to take everything out, put it on my desk, and then I just start adding. I mean, there really is no right or wrong way. So right here, we're going to go ahead and paint these little bird cages and a few of the little um, keys white. Now, I'm not really too worried about coverage because I do kind of want it to be almost kind of like a little vintagey, kind of shabby chic-ish sort of. So... Um, that's why I'm using one of these little sponges. These are a little makeup sponge that I purchased on eBay. I think I got like a hundred of them for two dollars or something like that. And I use these for little small things that I need to paint like that. And so um, right here, we're going to go ahead and start decorating. And I do want to add a little doily. So we're going to go ahead and get a doily that was way too small, Jesse. So we're going to get a bigger one so that we can go ahead and cut it. So I want a doily in the front and I want a doily in the back. That's basically what my vision was. And I wanted everything to be kind of like in the corner, kind of bursting out from the corner. So hopefully that's basically what we will be achieving. 
It is a surprise, my little crafting monsters. We never know which way it's going to go. <laughs> um, you know, nothing is ever really as planned. I mean, sometimes you just got to impro improvise as you're going along. So, anywho, you're just rambling, Jesse. Go ahead and just lay your little doily if you're going to use a little doily. And I'm not really too worried about that little glue spots because I will be covering that up with the little flowers and, you know, all these little knickknacks that we're going to be adding so these are these little white flowers that you guys have seen me use in previous um projects and then these are those buttons that i'm going to be using but i'm going to be using this white one it's kind of like a little iridescent button and it's really really cute so we're going to just add some hot glue and just stick that little bad boy on there then we're going to go ahead and just add these little flowers around. I'm just going to add three of them. After I've added these little flowers, I will be hitting these flowers with um, my little gold metallic marker because I like to go with the edges with that gold marker just to give them a little more interest, you know, give the eye a little something more to look at. So these are these little clip arts. Now, um, I just went ahead and fussy cut them, the little roses, and I'm just going to put those on the very corner. I was going to put some rot there, but I said no. <laughs> Sometimes things look like too much to me. I mean, if you guys notice, I don't really pile on stuff on my work. I just, I, I'm, that's just the way I am. I mean, everybody's different. And so right here, I'm just going to go ahead and do like these little rays of pearls and little gems. Just to give a little interest, kind of like a vine coming out of the flowers is what was in my vision. <laughs> I don't know if that's really what it looks like, boo-boo, but that's the way it looked like in my head. And um, so right here, that's, that's just what I'm doing. I'm adding one roll of pearls and one roll of the gems. And then I'm going to go ahead and add these little wooden elements. Now, in the picture and right here, I do not have anything to the left-hand side in between that one gem and the other last pearl to the left. But I will be adding something there because for some reason, that little area looks a little plain to me. And right here, I just have my little gold marker and I'm just hitting some little accents on the birdcage and also on the little key and also on the flowers, like I said. I love to do this to a lot of my little paper flowers because it just gives them a little something and it really makes them look a little shabby chic and vintagey looking. And so over here I'm going to go ahead and glue these little roses. I'm going to glue these roses down, two of them down and then one on a foam to give it a little dimension. And that's just um, the way I'm going to do on both corners. So that's why I was saying that this clipboard is not really that pract like a pl practical. Oh my God, yes, see, you cannot talk, mijo. <laughs> it's not a practical clipboard. This is more of like a decoration, I guess, because they would the recipient wouldn't be able to use it as a clipboard because those elements that are decorating it are a little 3D-ish. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, I really like how this turned out. It was, it came out pretty cute. And so, um, right here, that little key, the birdcage, you know, you're just caged up and you need a key to get out. That's my whole vision. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, so the remainder of this little doily, we are going to go ahead and stick this little bad boy to the back of this clipboard. And since this is the back of the clipboard and you kind of want it to be flat, I'm not really going to decorate this too, too much. I will be adding some flower clip arts that I have. And then I will add some other little elements, um, some little words and stuff like that. But I will not be adding anything that's too 3D-ish or too elevated. Because I want this to lay flat. You know, if they're hanging this or if they have it on their desk or whatever, well, you know, whatever, whatever it is that they want to do with this. They want to toss it in the trash, and that's fine too. <laughs> so right here, we're just going to go ahead and um, add these little paper flowers, like I said, and I'm just arranging these. And I am going to have most of them all down. I'm just going to add that middle one on the dimension, and it's going to be on just one little foam square. So it's going to be the only one that's going to be elevated a little bit 
higher than the other ones. And this is just to give that a little bit more interest. I really, really love how this back part looks with the little flowers. Those little country flowers really kind of go with the little doily and the little paper. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add these little diamonds in a heart on the very corners, like a little corner for these. And then we will be adding a little rose where that um, where that brad is. Don't worry, we're not gonna leave that like that. We're gonna cover it up with some a little flower. <laughs> so nobody would really know that that brad is right there. Well, I mean, they're obviously gonna see the one that's in the, right here on the clip, but you know, the back part is what I'm talking about. And then that's how easy, guys. This is, this is it. How cute is this? Welcome back, my little crafty monsters. That's how easy it was to make this little bad boy right here. This was an awesome little swap. The little clipboard happy mail. Um, I'm going to add some little goodies in the package too. It's not just what's on the clipboard. But anyways, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that inspires you guys to go ahead and make one of these little bad boys for one of your little swappers or swapping that you swap with. Happy mail. All the mail is ha is happy mail. Except for bills. Okay, so that's not really that much of a happy. I mean, that's more of a like sad kind of you know, uh. cry mail, you know, so that doesn't fall in this category now. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about by the Crafty Monsters. When we get that little happy mail in the mail, we're like, hi. <laughs> so anywho, anywho, you are wasting time, boo-boo. That's it, my little Crafty Monsters. I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. The little icon of my little face is floating around right there. Just hit it and we become BFFs if you're not already a subscriber. And the other awesome thing about that is that the button is free. It is totally free and everybody loves free stuff. So grab it, hurry up, grab the button and we become BFFs, like I said, Bobo. Also, also, um, if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for returning my little crafty monsters. From the bottom of my heart, seriously. Um, and that's it. Go ahead and share and tell a friend because your friends also need to know how fabulous these tutorials are. And also, also, stay tuned because we're going to have more tutorials coming up. <laughs> Till next time. Bye.